guys and gals. Um, so a lot of questions about uh, chickens slowing down, why aren't chickens laying eggs, and today we're going to go over that really quickly. So we could go through like a lot of different scenarios with chickens not laying, um, but I would say I really only want to touch on probably the first five to ten of those things because the other things are kind of off the wall ideas of like um, just random things that not necessarily impact everyone. So I want to go over the things that could impact almost anyone no matter where you are or what you're doing or what you're feeding um, or the health of your chickens. So here we go. So the first one that I feel is the most common is probably the seasons. Um, and so seasons has a few different things housed under that. Um, extreme heat and extreme cold. Um, you know, if your chickens are too hot or your chickens are too cold, then they are not going, their bodies aren't going to be able to create eggs like normal on an everyday basis. So in the summertime, they're panting and they have their wings out and they're trying to conserve energy. Um, so that might require them slowing down on the egg production a little bit um, in order to cool their bodies down. Now just the opposite, in the winter time it could be extremely cold and so they're using all of their energy to keep themselves warm. Um, so extreme cold and extreme hot is one part of the season. The next part of the season is light. Um, now depending on who you talk to, uh, a lot of people don't see a drop in egg production, but I would venture to say almost everyone sees at least a small drop in egg production every single year, um, which is dependent upon light. It's just science. Um, even if you're getting eggs every single day, you're probably not going to get as many eggs as you had been getting uh, in the prime of summer. So chickens need a certain amount of light, daytime light, in order to lay eggs. Um, you can certainly add a light to your coop to give them supplemental lighting. Um, between 12 and 14 hours is normally the base of what they need. Um, we have given supplemental lighting in the past, but honestly, the way I see it is they lay eggs for us most of the year, and they deserve some time off every now and then. So if we're getting less eggs, awesome. You know, at least their bodies rest, just like we need to rest too, so... The next most common one I would say is probably they're laying somewhere else. Now if you don't free range, this isn't an issue for you. Um, though it could be if you have places in your run or your chicken coop that you aren't necessarily aware of that they could lay or get into. Um, but I would say a, a nest stash away from their regular space is probably one of the also one of the most common ones. Um, it might be in a bucket, it could be in the woods, it could be in a tall grassy area. There are plenty of places that chicken can, chickens can um, hide a nest. So normally that's the first thing that's suggested if they've dropped and it's not extremely hot or extremely cold. Then the next um, suggestion is to check and make sure they're not stashing eggs somewhere. If a chicken feels threatened or if they don't feel comfortable enough in their nesting boxes, they're going to find a place where they feel comfortable enough to lay their eggs. Um, and sometimes they just like to be away from the other chickens when they're laying, so that's a possibility. So number two is stashing a nest somewhere else. The next most common one would probably be molting. Now, if you're a chicken keeper, a seasoned one, then you know that chickens molt every single year. That's just common. And because they have to conserve energy because their bodies are releasing their feathers and growing new ones, their egg production can pretty much become non-existent. Now, chickens molt on different schedules, molt on different schedules. So, um, while all your chickens might start molting at one time, it doesn't mean they're all going to stop laying at one time. But if you notice a drop in egg production, then, and you know it is feathers missing, that's probably what's happening. A chicken molt can last from a month to five or six months, um, depending on age. Now, chicks go through multiple different molts as they grow up. Um, hens can go through uh, small molts throughout the year, but normally they have one big one at the end of summer or in the fall. 
Um, depending on the chicken and their vitamin supplements, um, some chickens just have a blowout and they just lose their feathers and grow new ones very quickly. While other chickens, it can take through the winter for them to finish a complete molt. So uh, during that time, you can just up their vitamin intake, give them some more protein uh, to help them along, and they should come back around soon. Um, a problem I feel like some of you might run into and you don't realize because it's a touchy subject, but I have seen it firsthand, um, not here, but on other farms and also in other um, videos and stuff. And people just don't realize it, but it's it's common. It's common. It really is. And, and there's nothing wrong with it. You, we just don't realize it sometimes. Um, Another reason your chickens might not be laying is because you have an unclean coop or an unclean nesting box situation. We try to freshen our nesting boxes, if not every day, every other day. Sometimes that just looks like turning this, the straw over that's in there, just flipping it over um, and getting a few more days use out of it. Other times that completely re requires us to put brand new straw in. Now some people use wood shavings. Um, I have also used cardboard bedding. You have seen in some of my videos, I'll try to link them up here, um, where we use cardboard bedding in the summertime. And yes, they will nest with the cardboard bedding. I actually had a duck, uh, a broody duck, hatch out ducklings one year in our cardboard bedding. So, um, But an unclean coop or an unclean nesting box will deter your chickens from laying. And if they don't have anywhere else to lay, they could stop laying completely. Um, especially if you have an unclean coop and your chickens are cooped up at night. Chickens will go up at night whether it's filled with ammonia in your coop or not. It's because they're just creatures of habit. Um, so if you have high ammonia in your barn or in your chicken coop, then that could be a reason why they're stopping laying because number one, they're being, it's toxic to them. Um, but number two, they just, they don't lay in areas they're not comfortable laying in. So that's another big one to consider. Ah, the next one is the dreaded egg eater. Now, I hear mixed, mixed reviews. Um, some people do not give their chickens raw eggs because they fear that their chickens will start eating their eggs in the nest. Um, other people say, no, that's not true. Um, I would say it has to depend on the chicken. We, if I have old eggs that um, I don't feel like using or I want my chickens to have some extra protein in their diet, I'll throw them raw eggs, but I make sure they're crushed up first. We've only ever had one egg eater, and I believe it's because she had a vitamin deficiency. She was crippled, and I believe she couldn't forage or eat as well as the other ones, and so that caused her to eat some of the eggs. And... Um, and when we were able to up that intake, that vitamin intake, she stopped eating eggs. So I believe if you have a healthy flock, um, you're probably not going to have to worry about egg eaters. But, you know, nature happens sometimes and what can you do? So that could be another option with not having eggs. The last and final thing that might be affecting your chickens are things that are outside of those basics. Um, it, it could be a vitamin deficiency. It could be mites or lice, which absolutely need to be treated. Um, it could be an egg-bound hen. Uh, it, could be, it could be multiple things, but these are just the basics that I wanted to go over with you. The things that would I would check for first because they're common, um, and then you can kind of dive into each one of those things individually and kind of pick it apart and do your research and see to find out. So how do you fix these issues? Um, so of course, with the extreme hot and the extreme cold, you can fix that by making sure they have clean, cool water all the time. Stick their water in a shady area. As you've seen, a lot of my property is in shade because we live out in the woods. Um, and if not, then at least I, I'm putting up tarps or doing something to have our animals in the shade at all times. But that goes for their water source too. If they have a hot water source, if you're leaving their feed and their um, water out in the sun all day, they're not going to drink it. Uh, so make sure their water source is either in the coop, in the barn, or in a shaded area for them. Um, hens that have the longer 
Help me out, people. What's it called? You know what it's called. I'm drawing a mind blank right now. Anyhow, or the waddles. Um, black. They make this uh they make this black tarry stuff that you can put on it. I'll try to link it below if I can find it. But anyhow, that's not what this is about. When it comes to nest stashing or free ranging, that's probably gonna be your hardest one. The only way I've been able to fix it is to lock my animals up. Um, so I lock my chickens up in the run for a while and they start getting used to laying there again. And so if your chickens, if you have a great coop and sorry, I'm I'm popular when it comes to the phone. So if your chickens have a great coop, your area is clean, your coop is awesome, um, and they're and they're laying elsewhere, it could just be in your chickens' DNA. We've had uh, self-sufficient chickens that don't want to lay in coops because they were just bred to make their own nest, find their own area, and be self-sufficient. Um, another way that you could kind of coerce them into laying in your coop, um, you can add coop uh, curtains. Uh, Lisa Steele from Fresh Eggs Daily, she's so sweet, she's been a friend of mine for a couple of, few years now actually, um, and she was the one who introduced me to coop curtains first. Um, I used to have them in our coop, but be, the way our nesting boxes are set up, they're almost very secluded anyhow on the ends, and so we ended up taking them down just because it would get really dusty in there. Um, but that's another option, coop curtains. Um, you know, just cut a curtain halfway and the, and the chickens go in and they love it in there. Molting. So how do you fix molting? Can't fix it. It's a, it's an act of God. It is an act of nature. The only thing you can do is help your chickens get through it. So giving them, um, you know, a supplemental feed that has good vitamins, um, giving them black old sunflower seeds, giving them uh, extra protein, crushed up calcium in their eggshells and stuff like that. That's the only way that they can get through that. That's just natural, guys. That happens. You guys are going to experience it in the fall if you have chickens. Um, normally, chickens don't molt until after their first year of laying, okay? So if you've got chickens that are molting and they are only 12 weeks old, then that's a normal chick molt. And it's not what you're going to see with your regular chicken molt. Um, ducks, on the other hand, that's a whole other story. I know that's not what this is about. But ducks molt multiple times a year. Um, and if you have ducks, then you know it. You know it, and you know it's different than chickens. Um, they molt multiple times a year. And so you'll see, you'll go through a few weeks of, well, production's really high. Well, it's dropped off a little bit. Production's really high. Well, it's dropped off a little bit. So ducks are a new adventure for you, um, but they're fun. I miss my ducks. I really do miss my ducks. But anyhow, the extreme cold uh, part of this, we highly suggest doing the deep litter method um, for giving your chickens heat in the in the winter time. We don't use heat lamps, and guys, we've gotten down into below zero, okay, here in Virginia because we're closer to the mountains. Um, we don't use heat lamps, but we do use the deep litter method, whether it's with straw or with cardboard. Um, and the chickens, they keep pretty warm. Um, what about frostbite? People have asked me about that. Um, if your chicken coop is warm enough and your chickens have enough space and if your coop is clean, then they won't really get frostbite. Um, you could put Vaseline on the rooster combs, but we've really never had to. I'll tell you, if your rooster does get frostbitten or some of your floppy um, unclean coop. How do we fix that? Well, you clean it. <laughs> you make sure your coop is clean. Um, we now we use cardboard bedding. Highly suggest cardboard bedding if you can find it. It's cleaner. It's so much less dusty. Um, it is so much less stinky, to be honest with you. In the summertime here in Virginia, we have really humid summers. So the deep litter method for me doesn't really work in the summertime. I feel like the the hay the straw gets um, humid and moisture and it's just it's a breeding ground for junk. The cardboard eliminates that. It doesn't get wet like the straw does. It doesn't get soppy, you know. It doesn't get wilted like the straw does. It stays hard and it dries out the chicken feces as they drop. And it, I I cannot rave enough about my cardboard bedding. I love my cardboard bedding. Um, so just keeping a clean coop, freshening it up, nesting boxes every few days is, is the way to keep that smell down and keep your coop clean. Egg eating is probably 
the hardest one. Um, some people will tell you put mustard on the eggs and whoever tries to eat the eggs will have it all over their face. I haven't tried anything like that, but I have tried upping the protein and calcium um, that my chickens receive. And when I did that, the egg eating stopped. Um, I believe the only reason most most chickens, not all chickens, but most chickens eat eggs is because they have some kind of vitamin deficiency. So if you can fix that, I believe you'll see the egg eating stop. But if it doesn't, then we get rid of those babies. So, sorry. Okay, guys, that's it for me today. I hope that kind of helped you because I, I get that question a lot. Um... And it's really helpful to know what your options are. So you can kind of go one, two, three, these, this isn't it. Well, maybe it could be this and you can try to fix it. And when all else fails, you know, you can find the other videos and the other blog posts and stuff um, and, and catch up on those. And they're, they have great information on them. And I, I cannot suggest to you more to check out Lisa's website. Um, I have mentioned her in many of my videos and... Um, she really is a great source of information. She's taught me a lot of what I know about chickens. Um, and because we treat holistically here, you know, I connect with her that way because she likes to treat holistically as well. So, anyhow, that's it for me, guys. Hope you guys have a great day and happy homesteading. Mm -hmm.